Do you want youthful, glowing skin as you get older? Well, what if I told you the secret wasn't in your skincare routine, but in your gut? In this video, we're going to talk about how your gut health affects your skin aging and how taking the right probiotics can help you fight back against wrinkles and dullness and dryness from the inside out. So for science and specific probiotic recommendations, keep watching. So a quick hello if you're new here. My name is Fiona and I'm a registered nutritionist with a master's degree in nutritional medicine. On this channel, we talk about how to eat for great skin because true skincare starts on your plate. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button because it really helps the channel. Right, let's kick this off with a quick chat about the gut-skin axis. So the first thing to know is that your gut and your skin are intrinsically connected. They're connected physically, but they're also connected by several processes that are going on in your body right now. And the little puppet masters controlling this connection are the mass of bacteria and other microbes that live in your gut. They do three things. Firstly, they boss around your immune cells, which in turn affect how your skin cells behave. Secondly, they affect how you absorb nutrients from your food, including the skin supporting amino acids and vitamins and antioxidants. And thirdly, and this one is mind blowing, these little bacteria poop out substances that travel to your skin in your blood. And depending on the bacteria you have in your gut, this bacterial poop can either be really irritating to your skin or it can enhance your skin. So the gut skin axis exists and it's mediated by your immune cells, by your nutrients and by bacterial poop. But what does this have to do with your skin's aging? So we all know that we want friendly bacteria in our gut, but here's the problem. Research suggests that as we get older, those populations of friendly skin supporting bacteria tend to decline and with fewer friendly bacteria and possibly more unfriendly bacteria pooping out irritating substances you have a less happy environment in your gut and this contributes to two of the key drivers of aging the first one is oxidative stress which is kind of like the accumulation of debris in and around your cells and the second one is chronic low-grade inflammation otherwise known as inflammaging together these processes start breaking breaking down the structure and function of your skin, leading to fine lines and wrinkles and sagging and loss of elasticity and roughness and an uneven skin tone, aka everything that makes you look older than you want to. Now I don't want to overstate this because obviously gut microbes aren't the only cause of skin aging and there's still lots we don't know. But it is worth knowing that research suggests that centenarians naturally preserve more of those friendly bacteria. So there's definitely something going on here. And where do probiotics come into your gut health and skin aging? Probiotics are essentially friendly bacteria that you take to shift that environment in your gut. And research suggests that the right probiotics can help to reduce oxidative stress and dial down inflammation, which as you now know, is going to have a youth boosting effect on your skin. Now I have scoured the research so you don't have to. And here is a list of the specific probiotic strains that have been shown to have an anti-aging glow enhancing effect in actual humans. Now these have been found in varying degrees to reduce wrinkles, boost hydration, and even improve what the research has dubbed skin gloss, which sounds very appealing. Now this list is important when it comes to looking at specific probiotic supplements, and I'll explain a bit more about that in a second. With that in mind, let's look at the best probiotic sources for aging skin. Now you can either get your probiotics from food or from supplements, and personally, I think there is a place for both. So let's look at food first. Fermented dairy products like naturally cultured yogurt and kefir are good sources of the Lactobacillus paracaceae and Bifidobacterium breve species from our list. Of these, my personal favourite is kefir. Now research suggests that drinking kefir daily can help to boost your skin's hydration and clarity, which are the foundations of a youthful look. And you only need to drink about 100 millilitres or less than half a cup a day to see an effect on your skin. You can buy kefir pretty readily these days, or you can make your own, which is super easy, and that's what I do. I've done a whole video on how to do that, which I will pop here for you. The other great source of probiotics is fermented vegetables, so things like kimchi and sauerkraut. These are a good source of the Lactobacillus plantarum.
Lactarum species from our list. And we have research to suggest that a particular strain of Lactobacillus plantarum extracted from kimchi helped to boost both hydration and ceramide levels, which translates to smoother, plumper skin. Now again, both sauerkraut and kimchi are pretty readily available to buy these days. Just make sure it says unpasteurized on the label because that means all those friendly bacteria are preserved. And just one or two tablespoons a day is enough for a skin supporting effect. And lastly, traditional miso paste can be a good source of the bifidobacterium longum species from our list. You can use this paste in cooking, it adds a lovely rich umami flavour, or you can literally just add a heaped teaspoon to hot water to make a really warming savoury drink. So these foods can certainly help your skin if you eat them regularly, but for a more targeted approach you might want to try probiotic supplements. Now before we get into the specific product recommendations, I would be remiss if I didn't explain something very important to you here. Now remember our list. If you look at these names closely you'll notice that they each have three parts to them and it's the third part that indicates the specific bacterium or the specific little guy that is going to give your skin a makeover. And the effect of probiotics is strain specific. So in an ideal world you take a probiotic that contained all of these exact strains. But, but, we have two issues with that. Firstly, probiotic naming is a bit of a hot mess. Because probiotic strains are generally owned by the labs that culture them, you can have two or more strains that are structurally and functionally very similar but are called different things. It's like having two Labradors who are very similar but because they're owned by different humans they're just called different names. Our second issue is that lots of brands just list their bacteria to the species level so they just show you the first two parts of the name on the label. Now that could be because they don't want to bamboozle you but it can also be because they don't actually know the strains that are in there themselves. Yep, really. I'm telling you all of this so you know that the following product recommendations aren't perfect but they are a strong starting point if you have the budget to spend and you want to try probiotics for skin aging. First up is Biocult's Everyday Probiotic. Now I've talked about this one on the channel before because it is generally a good all-rounder. In terms of aging skin we know it contains Lactobacillus paracaceae, Bifidobacterium brief and Bifidobacterium longum species. These strains aren't the exact ones mentioned in the research because Again, these particular strains are owned by Protexin in the UK, but again, it's likely that they are structurally and functionally very similar, so they will still influence your skin. These work out at about £10 or $15 a month if you take one a day, which to be honest is quite reasonable for a good probiotic. Now another option, particularly if you're in the US, is Hum Nutrition's Gut Instinct. Again, this hits several of the species known to help skin, and it also contains a particular strain that helps to regulate your stress response which is also going to have an anti-aging effect over the longer term. And unlike the biocult one, this one is also vegan, so it's suitable for people on a plant-based diet. Now this works out at about £25 or $26 a month, so it is more expensive. And last up, we have the SFI Health Therbiotic Complex. Now this used to be Claire Labs Therbiotic Complex, but Claire Labs has become SFI Health. Now this one is an investment in your skin, especially if you're in the UK. It works out at about £48 a month here, or it's $26 a month if you're in the US. However, it does contain 25 billion colony forming units per capsule, which is a pretty punchy dose, and it does contain several skin supporting anti-aging species. It also contains a prebiotic, which is essentially food for those friendly bacteria, so it encourages them to grow even more. Now this one does have to be stored refrigerated, which can be a bit of a hurdle in your remembering to take it. But what you can do is just put it somewhere front and center in your fridge so you notice it every time you open the fridge door. Now whichever one you choose you need to commit to taking it for three months before judging whether it's working for you. And probiotics are generally considered to be safe but please remember that these recommendations aren't personalized to you. So be safe and check in with your doctor before you start any new supplements. Finishing up with some extra tips. So probiotics can certainly help gut health and skin aging but they're not the full story. Other things are really important
important for your gut health too. Firstly, eating a fiber rich diet. And again, I literally have a video on how to do that, which I will pop there for you. Secondly, exercising regularly. And walking in nature is a particularly good form of exercise for you and your gut microbes. Thirdly, sleeping well. And we literally have research that shows that poor sleep can double signs of aging. So do make it a priority. And fourthly, finding ways to unwind. Stress kills off those friendly skin supporting bacteria too. So for the sake of your skin, find a way to actively relax. For me, that is always reading a book, but for you, it could be playing with your dog or it could be doing the Sudoku or the crossword. It's whatever makes you feel lighter and just make it a priority in your day. So whether you take probiotics or not, remember that healthy, youthful looking skin starts from within. Support your gut and your skin will thank you. If you liked this video, you'll enjoy another one I've done on the best probiotics for skin, which I will pop there for you. And thank you for watching until the very end.